welcome back to Teapot Talk with Julia. This is my 60th Teapot Talk, and I thought I'd let you know that you can find all of my Teapot Talks on our YouTube channel. If you go to Pinecone Cottage Tea House on YouTube, you can like and subscribe to our channel and see all of my Teapot Talks. Uh, this week I have a beautiful pottery teapot that my friend Trish gave me last year for my 50th birthday and it's just so beautiful and unique it's got this lovely handle and um, and then it's my favorite part is the heart <laughs> and I was texting with her like right after my birthday after I got it and she sent me a note she said it used to be my grandma's but I'm already swimming in China from her when you sent that message about a tea birthday party, it felt a little like fate. This reminded me of you. A bit whimsy, a bit unique, a bit lovely. <laughs> and uh, so I treasure it, and it's uh, just really fun to use, and it's special. And we have a... Um, tea blending class coming up uh, this Friday, uh, August 16th at 6 p.m. And Cam and I will be teaching it. And I thought I would do a little blending experiment today. We like to play with stuff in the kitchen sometimes on Sundays. And I took our tea of the month, the vanilla archado rooibos, which is non-caffeinated, and I blended it with our vanilla cream black tea, which is on our menu all year. And it's uh, it's kind of adding caffeine to the the uh, rooibos, so it's nice. And it's a popular blend among the the staff uh, in the kitchen. So, and I've got some blended here. And the vanilla smells so good. It's a popular tea of the month, and the vanilla cream is is. Mm, popular and that's just really nice especially when I just need my caffeine and I like the blend of the almond with the vanilla cream um, and you can also buy both of these teas and all of our teas at Pinecone Cottage and try your own blends and if you'd like to see more experimenting with tea and, and what we can do with it then you can come to our class on Friday and we will see you at the tea house <laughs>